Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and here we are on the last episode of The Book of Boba, Chapter 7. This one looks like it's an hour long, so it's gonna be lots to fill in. I'm excited for it. I made the mistake last week thinking that was the last episode, but I'm glad that I'm wrong because... They left it with, like, lots of cliffhangers. Not that that could be unexpected for a season finale, but my predictions is that they will finally do their little war battle scene with Boba and crew against Pike and friends, which means potentially seeing Cad Bane join in on the fight. Who else do they have up their sleeves? That could be interesting. I still suspect that uh, Cobb Vamp, I almost said his apparently namesake, Bob Vance. I don't know if anyone else looked that up, but apparently Cobb Vance was based off of. Anyways, Cobb Vance, I think he survived his wounds. I don't know if he's necessarily going to be healed in time to join in on the fight. I don't know what the time span that's passing by this. I just, it feels like it's going to be too short. And yeah, I'm, it'll be cool to see Boba whip out. I'm hoping to see Boba whip out some of his skills and fight. I'm hoping maybe even one of the Tuscans will come out of the woodworks and join in. That would be weird, but really cool. And it would make sense to me. I don't know. Maybe if it's, I mean, it's going to impact all of Tatooine. So it would impact them in their sands. Maybe other tribes got the word. Maybe I still think that warrior Tuscan woman's out there somewhere. Maybe it went to another tribe and it's like something. So I'm, I'm hoping we'll see all hands on deck more fighting from for some reason i think his name's chrysanthemum or something <laughs> that's a flower but wookie man fighter fighting with mandalorian din jaren fighting with assassin fennec shand bounty hunter now become daimo boba fett and then their teenager biker gang i don't know what their name is all all those folks and then maybe maybe cobb vanth I don't think so. But then we're gonna see the Pikes and they have Cad Bane. I don't know who else they have, but they have to have more power. Like the Pikes have numbers. I don't really see them fighting per se. Maybe they'll whip out their pistols, but they generally seem more like they're the money workers and every they hire people to do the dirty work for them. So either way, I'm excited and yeah. And on that note, real quick, uh, just a reminder too, guys, for those of you who like Star Wars, since this shows up wrapping up and you might wanna fill in the time between the next show, Check out the channel Credic, K R E D I K. That is a Star Wars satire, comedic, Clone Wars watch through that's more commentary versus like reaction. Um, but it's a uh, really fun vo voiceover work. Um, Sons, who is the editor of this channel, is the host and producer of that channel. So I recommend check it out if you want another twist. And that'll be a great support for this community. Uh, and on that note, guys, I'm ready to get through this last episode of Boba Fett. Oh yeah, and duh, what's gonna happen? What decisions Grogu to make? That's like a whole, it feels like a whole other storyline, right? Is Grogu gonna join in on the fight? I don't know. I feel like that would be pushing it, but fine, it'll be cool. But I'm hoping, honestly, they keep that, leave that for the Mandalorian season three. So anywho, real quick, let's get to this episode. Take it away. Shameless plug right here. What's that tall building in the center? Oh yeah, this is like right after this. I wonder what the timeline of this is. <sighs> that was a lot worse than I would have thought in there. I don't think anyone survived that. That was fast. There's a lot of credits to be made from that orange powder. In the long run, it is better for us as well. Mos Espa can become a prosperous city under our protection. She wanted to keep spice the spice running. Freetown is its name now. Let the people of Freetown I like that he's like, they have my word. corrected it. You can tell Cobb Vanth himself when he arrives here with the reinforcements. Oh no. Oh no. He doesn't know. But if he does not, we are doomed. Oh. The people who live here need our protection. Oh. That's what they're... Well, kudos to them for sticking to what they believe in. He's back already? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Seeing him in live action. I have to respond in some way. I should. My favorite. Turn so quickly. Does Fett have any other resources to call upon? He used to live among a Tuscan raider tribe in the desert. We destroyed them ourselves. What? Does Fett know that? 
He thinks they were killed by Nikto speedbikers. They left evidence behind to encourage such a conclusion. How did they freaking kill them? I guess they just... Oh my gosh. I think I have an idea how to draw Boba Fett out. Uh-oh. They're just in the name of honor. Oh, snap. They're using his honor against him now? Oh! Does this mean we know what Grogu chose? <sighs> I'm assuming that's R2-D2, unless we think that's going to be someone from the... Re Do we think it's someone from the New Republic? It, so Grogu did choose him. Oh, well, look who it is! <laughs> Aww. I got my napkin. Aww. And R2-D2 is with him. He probably guided him there. Let me say hello to my old pal. Aww. Grogu? Whoa, that's a terrible name. Sorry about that, pal. Aww. Here, huh? Oh. R2's like, uh. Oh, keep your dome on. Ew. Oh my gosh, look how excited he is. His little teeth. <laughs> Here you go. Grogu's gonna be put into danger, and Din's gonna be getting in protective dad mode. Like, this is no place for the child to be. Woo! This is tense, yo. Keeping tabs on the streets of the municipality in front of City Hall. Nice. Oh, wait, that's ironic. They put him in the Trandoshian area. That's hilarious. There is someone here to see. Good job, Din. Oh. I thought you said nobody could sneak up on us. Mm hmm. What is he gonna lure him out with? Have they met? Wait, as a kid. I thought I smelled something. I'm here to negotiate on behalf of the Pike Syndicate. I don't negotiate with gutless murderers. If that's not the quack to call in the stifling slimy. Whoa. Clear out. I paid Marshal Van the visit. How did he, how did they even know? I never left him without his armor. Oh, snap. Oh. So I guess it is just the Pikes and Cad Bane. I will only negotiate with the head of the Pike Syndicate. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family and blamed it on a speed bike gang? He wants a fight. Boba. She sees the Let's change. Let's do this. Right here. Right now. No, man. I can take him. You're emotional. I can take him. We need to adjust. Good on Fennec for... Have you a moment. Good on Fennec for pushing. Mm 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 mm. You know, Boba. You know. You're going soft in your old age. We all do. I don't know. How old is he? I wonder how much he would pay for the toilet. Understood. Many pardons. I should never have interjected. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Aqualish are fighting against them. No, 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 no. Don't hurt him. He is outnumbered, but boy, will he be happy to kill some trust oceans. They basically, they're doing it just little. Uh oh. You guys cannot. No! Never split up the party. Ow, dude. You guys really have melee weapons to fight against Mr. Dude. I feel bad for them. No, don't hurt Chrysanthem. No. You will not. You will not. Oh. Was that her? Thank you. Manners. I like it. Oh. Why am I getting emotional? This is dumb. Is Kira coming? I'm with you until we both fall. You really buy into that bent of photo. I do. Oh. Good. 
<laughs> you, you, stay? you will not. You will not. Grogu will not allow it. If I may offer an alternative. I was educated on Coruscant. Not that that makes me better in any way. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, I specialized in civic council negotiations. If you would feel confident. Uh oh, he's gonna die. Empowering me to negotiate on your behalf. I am unarmed, but for this tablet. It says something. I wish like to F you. Present to whom you present the following offer. You will leave this planet and your spice trade. If you refuse these terms, <clears throat> the arid sands of Tatooine will once again flourish with flowered fields fertilized with the bodies of your dead. Oh my god. His words. <gasps> Oh, I thought this was a different Mando. Look at them go. Look at them. Ooh. Oh, behind you, behind you. Nice. Finn is good, man. Oh, he's gonna light his rocket. Those freaking knee cannons are ro knee rockets, I should say. There they are. There's all of our goodies. Oh no, 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 no. The teenagers. <gasps> oh, they did come. I didn't know they had like that little tank ship thing. There they are. I, I'm like, they have to have come back. She's freaking riding right in front of them with a tiny pistol. Uh oh. Uh oh. For some reason, I thought it was a different monster. Right? Yes, I thought like, there's no way. <laughs> That's right, take him out. Help him, guys. Watch his back. I owe you a nice long soak in the back to tank when this is done. They're falling back. Oh, what's happening? No, 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 no. Uh oh. I don't think I would. We got real problems. Of course, they have money to buy the best equipment. Oh, are those like a combination of like all the droids? Dude. Oh my gosh, they don't have no any Jedi. They don't have any of those special bombs. We'll save your bullets and then roll inside the sh shield. A waste, a waste, they're shield protected. You gotta get in the shield bubble. Can you not walk inside of it? <gasps> okay. Apparently you can't even get inside of it. I forgot, has Boba seen that before? What's he gonna try? Oh, a weak point. Does it hurt him? <gasps> nice spin. I don't know how that makes you shoot better, but it looked cool. Me! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh no. Oh. Okay, little guy. I'm happy to see you too. Okay. This is a bad time for your reunion. You too, buddy. Oh no. Oh. Get out, help her. Oh no, she lost the tooth. I was gonna say yes, it's his his this is like Jurassic Park vibes, isn't it? Yes! It's his buddy! Don't hurt him! <gasps> That's amazing. Yes! Yes! 
Yes. Oh my gosh. We're really seeing a Rancor fight right now against Roids. Oh, what do you... Do you think Robo still got a lightsaber? Probably not. Ooh. Yes, right into his eyeball. Stab his eye. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. go thank you oh do it what a destructive pet yes rip him oh angry ow dude what kind of gun is that Oh. I am not a threat. Nice head tails. Uh, Come on, get behind me, pretty face. Oh. Got you Pleasure to make your acquaintance. It almost seemed like they were flirting just a bit. <laughs> you can eat those. Don't touch my dad. Yes. Do it. <laughs> there's the there's the screen. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Uh oh, I forgot about him. Are you really gonna try to fight? <gasps> Freaking Cad Bean's not even, not even like worried. Dude, why would you try to fight? They're outnumbered. They got everything else dead. One thing I can't figure. What's your angle? Will not abandon them. Like the Tuscans. He's just Don't rubbing that in. Me. Yeah, he's totally with him. I'm not a boy any longer. And you are an old man. No. I'm still faster than you. Let's find out. Oh my gosh. <sighs> he's fought Mandalorians. He's fought Jedi. Dude's not afraid. They are not... Oh my gosh, they are having... You're a killer. He's just mad that he's not like him anymore. Look out for yourself. Anything else is weakness. Watch out, you're gonna get shot in the back, Cad. Oh no, they're gonna actually... Oh, okay. Good. Oh, he's angry. <gasps> they actually, they actually killed him. Hey, guys, this is so King Kong. Oh, he still carries it. It's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. What? Don't worry, kid. I... Uh oh. Yep. Okay? Calm him. Don't hurt him. Putting to sleep. He's getting stronger. Oh. 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 <laughs> they're making him snuggle. What are they? They know what they're doing. I don't know why I feel conflicted about Cad Bane dying. All hospitable. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Fennec. Where is she shooting from? Their skylight? Oh no. I know he's bad, but not my Thor- Dude, 
Dude, this is like a horror movie. Green blood. Wow. Okay. Honor and respect, man. Just like Renaissance music. <laughs> I have so many questions. Okay, here's Mando's music. And he's leaving with the baby. Oh my gosh, Grogu's in the little... No. What does he want? Are you inject- uh... Oh. Oh my gosh. Who's in the box? The... He was supposed to let Chris- <gasps> Did he put Cad Bane in there? Oh, Cobb. Okay, good. Oh, were they giving him modifications? Okay. Okay. All right, so they did show that Cobb Vanth, they're bringing him back instead of modifications, which goes to show if they're show if they're making the, the choice to show that, he's obviously going to reappear, whether that's a, suggesting Boba that season two or Mandalorian season three, they seem to very tie into both of the shows together. So I was still slightly disappointed to not see Kira. It would have been really cool. Obviously getting the actress could have been uh, tricky, I guess. Maybe they're waiting for a larger, more substantial role or something. I don't know. But I have a lot of mixed feelings about this episode. Um, a lot of cool moments. As expected, they had their, their battle. Like any D&D &D rules, never split the party. And then they had, they did that to cover ground. I get it for visuals, but then they all got like, they freaking let's rest in peace. The two Gamorians who got thrown off the edge. So that's really sad that they risked their life and they were outnumbered. Santon's really cool. They call him Santo, I guess is his nickname. Um, love him. Uh, I'm not surprised he survived because he's freaking awesome. And uh, again, super funny and, uh, and a, a funny and interesting choice of making him be in the Trandoshan district, having to take them out if needed, as it happened. Um, I guess not surprising, unsurprising that those folks to betrayed betray the daimo betray their con their um promise they're gonna probably have more gain from the money they can gain from the spice than they would just from their business as usual yeah it just goes to show again how awesome fennec shant is she's a really cool character and kudos to the actress skilled assassin i loved when she went and saved the gang the biker gang folks <sighs> The mod mod kids, what do they call them? I always forget. Then she freaking assassinated the Pike, you know, head of that area, as well as well as all the heads of the other districts, which kind of then gave Boba a reign of all those districts. So it's kind of everything worked in their favor in that regards. I'm uh, curious of like the assistant, um, whatever his role per se, the previously mayor's assistant, and now seemingly to be potentially. On Boba's council, he kind of slowly came out that way. I mean, he was used as bait and he did fulfill his promise of going out there and try to negotiate. Good for them for coming out and, def and defending him. And him him and uh, Peli's interaction was quite funny. Almost seems flirtatious, almost feels like they could be suggesting a romantic relationship with them down the run. Obviously just a small aside thing, but it's an interesting thing nonetheless. I have mixed feelings still about Grogu joining back with Din. Obviously I would have preferred him to study with Yoda and become a Jedi and use a saber, a little baby Yoda saber again. But he opted to go with where his heart was leading him. He knew that he couldn't break that connection. He was so strongly bonded with Mando. Do we think it might have been different? I mean, he was raised already. I mean, he, I guess he already does know. He was raised during the Order 66 and he saw all the before that, obviously with the Jedi were about and training and stuff. And he gave that up. Like he got his memory back to remember that. And he's like, oh, I'm just helping him to remember. Like he already had the foundation in place. Now he can grow just without a direct guidance from somebody. I think, so that kind of suggests where Mando season three will go kind of. He gained back his foundling, starting his own creed. Is he gonna try to go back to the Mandalorian planet? I don't know. It would be cool for him to join in with the armorer and Vizsla, um, Mr. Vizsla man. I, I would be really interested to see a dynamic where he tried to maybe potentially rebuild Mandalore. Now it's a big 
big ass, but I feel like it would be cool to see him come back in contact with Boba, uh, Bo-Katan and, um, and her crew. I thought with the ending of season two, with the revelation of him revealing his face to uh, Grogu, the child, that he would have potentially went his own path, even especially after meeting Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians who revealed their face. Um, but part of him still is seeming to want to go in this direction. I don't know if it's still a struggle he's dealing with or if that's just this choice he's made. I would be interested in seeing him going his own direction, although if that means a, a break off the connection with the armor, um, that could be potentially a loss, obviously. I'm guessing when the Ahsoka show comes into play, we might see continued more dynamics between Luke and Ahsoka. Um, I'm hoping to see maybe some more background before we see Ahsoka in this current timeline. I want to see the, some of those rebel, rebel characters involved in the Ahsoka show, maybe seeing Thrawn as well. Continuing on, I'm a little disappointed to not see some more Tusken involvement. I guess with this conclusion that they're saying that every member of that Tuscan tribe was destroyed. I, unsurprising that the Pikes were involved in it. I didn't think about that in the moment. I'm like, makes sense that those Nico um, gang members would have been the ones to take him out. But essentially the Pikes solved multiple issues by setting them up, him destroying that issue for them destroying the Tuscans. I guess they just overwhelmed and uh, Tuscans are great warriors, but we saw them getting destroyed by the fast and we trained and being um, sniped. So really disappointing and sad that, that they are from this point understood to be completed. But yeah, that would be a cool and interesting surprise twist to see maybe if Bo there is a Boba Fett season two to see a Tuscan from that tribe had survived and reacquaints themselves with Boba. I, I feel mixed feelings about Cad Bane dying. I think that's just because we all this time, he survived through so much through obviously the Clone Wars and our excite excitement of seeing him in live action. Kind of some interesting thoughts to be like that interaction with them about being like, oh, you've changed old man, you're not the same. And Cad sh clearly showed he still had skills and he kind of took Boba from at surprise, but it you clearly saw that Boba reacted emotionally and came out with his Tuscan weapon, which I didn't expect, but I love to see it. I think they were giving us some of that because we weren't seeing him use that weapon with the previous fight. I just wanted to wrap that story up. So he was a killer. Now someone argue, would that be considered like him just getting rid of an issue? Is that him giving into emotion? Like a kind of a complex thing there for um, Boba. I uh, am glad to see that Cobb Vanth was in there. Again, that's suggesting we are going to see him again. I feel like that would be, I don't know, they could set, they could potentially show that and just be like, he's, he lives on um, and not show us again, but I feel like that'd be a waste. People are a fan of him. They like him, they like the actor. So it, it's hard to feel. I, overall, I'm, I'm positive about and, and feel good about the episode. It was fun. There's a lot of action, a lot of things going on. Um, it was, of course, cool. And I and I love to see it. And I was waiting to see it again. The Rancor come into play. Some Jurassic Park vibes with like the goo, goo, goo. And then obviously King Kai with him climbing the, the tower and being like, ah, like that and, and and eating people and destroying buildings. But um, again, I'd love to see Kira, like more of the syndicate get involved. So like you just t took out a huge sect of our syndicate and lost out on a ton of money. You destroyed some of our spice. So I feel like we're gonna see some more involvement and that'll probably be a big thing we will see in season two of Boba Fett. I know people have complaints about being such a high focus in Tatooine. They're like, I'm tired of a Tatooine, it's a desert planet, it's boring. The reality of where these characters are based out of, where they planted themselves in, that it would make sense that their story is being told here because he's Daimo, he's trying to take care of the people there, they're trying to rebuild, he's trying to gain, gain strength in numbers. I think that once things are maybe potentially more established there and he has more of a basis of people in numbers and muscle and in strength and people he trusts, he may feel more comfortable with leaving and potentially expanding some of his options. It, it, it went quite the rounds. I actually was a fan, even though I know a lot of folks felt it was slow the first few episodes. I liked seeing that background, what happened right after and what is happening currently in his timeline. Why he would have come to terms with being like, I'm an old man now and, and I've decided like settle down or honor is more of a thing and maybe he is inheriting that more honorable where is the title in the name of honor 
So yeah, so the episode being in the name of honor, I think that's the whole thing is they're trying to say he's like, he wants to lead with respect. He wants to have honor. I mean, him and Dan are almost like, well, I guess I'm gonna die because that's what I pulled. Just goes to show how far they're willing to go for it. Yeah, oh, I guess I, so I forgot to talk more about the droids they use. Like there's a new droids. It looks like a combination of a uh, droidica. They got their shield going on and they got the like four-legged eh, eh, eh. I would have been, I would have been surprised for how much money and stock they have into this. But they wouldn't bring in something else outside of one Cad Bane, which he fills a lot of roles, but. Yeah, overall, I would say the show was pretty, um, I was pleased with it. I, there was a lot of fun moments. A lot, I liked the Easter eggs and the familiar characters and areas that they brought in, um, connection to the other shows. A lot of good like emotional moments, some character growth. I can see the kind of the points people have with having it be the Book of Boba and feeling that there was two full episodes where he was basically not involved. So I think with the way they were trying to set things up, they just wanted to give some of that background. Some of that could have probably been told in the second and the third season of Mandalorian, kind of giving you some flashback of being like, oh, okay. Um, so I'm curious about their choice, creative choice of telling the story in that manner, but I still enjoyed what I saw. I'm not too, um, I'm not bothered too much by having it be a, a show titled The Book of Boba and having some of the focus be strained away from him bringing drawing in some old old canon to current canon and yeah there's just a lot of fun elements involved so i typically will watch shows and my enjoyment factor in in the combining the visuals the story um the characters involved um the music and sound effects all those tied together and they did a lot of great things the scenery was beautiful uh, the story as a whole was good there were some weaker story points that they probably could have chosen a different direction on but that's the thing with some of these it would be cool with going either direction and so you might always be disappointed with not seeing the other option at least for me so it's so great to compare this to original um, sci-fi content and see the growth in technology that's been able to evolve and show what the ideas and the creators' minds can actually become more of a reality than like just like background like painted props or like more basic puppetry. Nothing to get the puppetry because we still have that in Star Wars, but it's just fun to see. So I had fun with it. I'm excited. Super pumped now for the next shows to come out, which where I think Andy and or Cassian's show is supposed to be next. Um, I don't, I think Mandalorian season three is supposed to come out this year as well. And then my most favorite, super excited to see Kenobi. I love Ewan McGregor. I loved him as Obi-Wan Kenobi. And obviously I know that we're gonna see Hayden Christensen come in as Darth Vader. All of those things alone, even even without Hayden Christensen, I was super excited. But now it's like ultra excited to see them come back together again. That's all I needed. I don't need to know anything else about the show. I'm just cool to see it on screen in that world. So we're gonna get more Tatooine people. That's just the way it is. That's where little Luke Skywalker is and Kenobi's watching over him. So get ready for some more dry weather. We're gonna need to stay hydrated to get through this. But but yeah, I think I've ranted on long enough. For those of you who like these, there you go. You're welcome. For those of you who are like, shut up already. There you go. I'm out at this point. So Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for going through this Book of Boba for, with me. If you like this video and commentary reaction, go ahead and like the video. Put your comments down below. Like I said, I might delay my reading of them because of my fear of spoilers. My mods are pretty good about removing them or being like, Shh. so just a heads up. And if you want to see more, subscribe if you're not already um, and put the notification on because I'm kind of, we're kind of inconsistent on how we upload, when we upload. I am slowly working on Arcane still. I am still working on The Witcher season one still. Haven't even watched the second one yet because I'm working on it. But also, if you want to know when I start uploading videos for the next Star Wars stuff or Marvel stuff, subscribe to the channel. Check the backlog. There's a lot of stuff on there. I watched Clone Wars and The Rebels and all the Star Wars stuff and there's some other silly random stuff in there so check it out but yeah anyways guys thanks so much for watching thanks for supporting and I'll see you on the next one